This is 95.3 Business Now. Welcome back to Business Now. Tantalizers PLC, one of Nigeria's fast food chains, has reported a pre-tax loss of 164.7 million naira in its 2024 second quarter period. This represents a 42.17% year-on-year offset from a loss of 284.9 million naira reported in 2023. Uh, meanwhile, the fast food chain recently completed a private placement raising approximately 1.07 billion era to support its restructuring efforts. Well, joining me to discuss this now is David Adrori, a stockbroker and a licensed dealer at Hiker Securities. Good morning and it's great having you again on Business Now this Tuesday, sir. Thank you very much, Ramide. Good morning. It's a pleasure being with you today. Yes, Mr. Adrori, give me your key takeaways from Tantalizer's uh, second quarter earnings numbers. Yeah, the company has um, been troubled uh, in the past, but from the half-year result, it appears that the company is uh, recovering, is on uh, a recovery course. And that is why we have noticed, um, or rather they have reported, um, 50% reduction in their uh, pre-tax uh, losses, which is uh, a wonderful uh, development, indicating therefore that uh, the company is uh, being uh, resuscitated. Uh, well, again, yeah. yes, thank you. Uh, can you identify for me, you know, what the key challenges are for fast food chain businesses and restaurants generally in Nigeria? Yes, speaking from the perspective of uh, the fast food chains, that um, we have very, very many in the past, especially in the 70s and uh, in the 80s. Remember the likes of uh, uh, Mr. Big's um, Leventis uh, food chain, UTC, and so on and so forth. Uh, they all prospered uh, in that period because of um, the uh, well-being of the middle class in the society. At that time, the prosperity uh, was um, also there for the middle class to enable them to release a fast food chain because Essentially, they were targeted at working uh, middle-class uh, people who would uh, go to work and then would uh, quickly dash to the fast food chains to uh, take some snacks or order for takeaways. But along the line, uh, the middle class in Nigeria started disappearing, especially from the late 90s to the 2000s. And now... The, there's a, a challenge of uh, almost a non-existent uh, middle class in the system, and that has affected the consumer pool for the products of fast uh, food chains, and also a lot of uh, former restaurants. Uh, they have lost, in terms of the middle class, not being able to patronize them. The bucateriats around have uh, actually taken over, you know, because... Uh, the cheap nature of uh, their products and the affordability of their products, you know. So I, I think it's the inability to compete and then um, decline in patronage by customers, especially the disappearance of the middle class affected the food, fast food chains and uh, you know, of formal restaurants, especially in urban uh, areas. Uh, that situation has even worsened now because the middle class is even in a more precarious uh, situation now. Indeed, I, I can I can uh, relate to that, especially with the current uh, economic situation that we have right now in Nigeria. But what do you make of the tantalizers' recent successful private placement? This was done uh, just a few months ago. And when do you see the results of the fund's deployment showing up on the company's profit and loss account? Yeah, before then, um, the uh, if you look at the financials of uh, Tantalizers uh, PLC, you see that uh, their short-term uh, debt obligation was very, very high. 
uh, in the region of about uh, 1.2 uh, billion naira. And so essentially that placement they did, which was around 1 point something billion naira, was uh, to refinance their short-term debt uh, obligation, thereby releasing uh, enough uh, assets to the company to uh, work and then uh, start yielding income. Secondly, it's not also unlikely that uh, they may have um, disposed of some uh, non-performing uh, assets and uh, consolidated their business so that they will be refocused. So what we are seeing is uh, a very severe reduction in their turnover, uh, which I guess we have been due to we have been have closed uh, uh, down some branches, some non-performing uh, branches, so as to concentrate on those that are performing, and also as a result of uh, dwindling patronage from customers, as the result um, of um, the wiping out of the middle class. I also see that cost has uh, been a major factor in uh, the, the uh, performance of the business in terms of uh, their bottom line. But that they were able to refinance their short-term obligation, drastically reduce their finance cost, which was uh, over a hundred and something million uh, last year, the same period to. Uh, now about 30 something million this year. So that is a wonderful development. So, but essentially, therefore, their private, their placement, sorry, not private placement, but a placement because they are a public limited liability company. The, the placement was directed essentially to refinancing their short term uh, obligation. But the company is in a better state now because if you also look at their balance sheet, they still have a positive equity position, and that is the leverage that their refinancing has done to them. So, in terms of solvency, the company has no threat at all. It's a solvent company, and uh, is going concern status is highly assured M- Mr. based Larry, on the state of his balance sheet. Yeah, talk to me. How how can the market ac- attract more listings from the retail sector, such as you know restaurants? pharmacies, fashion and design, among others, as the case on the South African JSE? Yes, uh, the market has uh, listing requirements that uh, prospective uh, issuers uh, are expected to meet. And uh, also, when they are admitted to the market, they have to also... uh, abide by the post listing requirements of uh, the exchange. As you can see, a lot of those uh, fast food uh, chains were listed and a lot of them have become more born. Some were delisted as a result of their inability to meet with the post listing requirements. You know, those listing requirements are actually there to protect uh, investors and that differentiates the formal uh, market from the informal market. In the formal market, there are minimum standards that must be met so as uh, to continue to enjoy the confidence uh, of investors. And so for them to be, for them to qualify to be listed in the market, they must meet those minimum standards. All right. And then, um, so I, th- I think that is the most important thing. But the market has actually created the sections for them. All right. Where they can be listed. All right. David you Adari, stockbroker and licensed dealer at Hika Securities. Thank you for your time as always on Business Now. Do have a great day ahead, sir.